Walk around family, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2024 Acura MDX in the advanced package, so fully loaded in liquid carbon metallic with the espresso interior. We are at Montano Acura. So if you have any questions, you can definitely give them a call. I have a phone number in the description. So first we want to start off with the front fascia. You do have the jewel LED headlamps. Look, look how beautiful that looks. At nighttime, these things are beautiful. So full LED everything, high beam, low beam, turn signals, daytime running lights, even fog lights, LED. And you do get the chicane daytime running lights, which is a signature for Acura. On the front fascia here too, you do have a little insert here. It's not functional, parking sensors. You have some chrome on the advance that's gonna be all around, let you know you have the, the more fancier MDX. You get a little flat black down below gloss black in the grill, huge Acura uh, emblem up front, and your radar sits right behind it. You can see there's a camera right above it as well, because you do have the 360 camera on this model. Which is if you look in your rear view mirror and see this thing, it's pretty menacing, just aggressive, just in your face, especially with the grill. Come around to the side here, you do get the unique wheels for the Advance, and because it's the highest trim, you get the more premium looking uh, wheels and these uh, the tires are 225 50s and the rims are 20s so you have 20s all around you get a little flat black kind of go around the whole trim kind of under here tucks away a little bit under here but i like how the lower portion is body colored as well and the flat black actually kind of fall around the whole mdx looking at the side profile here very sporty looking a lot of chrome so you have a chrome piece right here you have this chrome piece that goes right into the mirror from the fender, which is a nice touch. Around the windows is all chrome. The roof rails is more of a, it's not chrome, it's like a silver finish to it. But really beautiful. The side mirrors do have LED integrated turn signals. And if I lock this guy, they are power folding as well, which is beautiful. And since I locked it, you do have smart entry on the advance. So here's a key fob for the advance. So you have lock, you have unlock, you have a power tailgate so you can hold to open it. You have your panic button. This button right here will take out the, the key that's inside the fob, the emergency key. And you have remote start built in on the fob. You can use Acura Link app and start the MDX from wherever you are. But if you want it to be built in on the fob, it's standard on the advanced trim. So before we get inside, let's take a look at the rear, which I love as well. So full LED back here. And you get these large exhaust finishers. So you can see the exhaust is actually smaller in there, but this finisher makes it look a little bit more aggressive. Flat black down below, some more parking sensors in the rear, some more chrome back here because you got the fancier MDX. You more chrome on the emblem, MDX, super handling all wheel drive. And you can see your rear tail lights is more slimmer, skinnier, give you that premium look. So LED reverse lights, turn signals, and brake lights. Oh, and your third uh, brake light too. We can't forget about that guy with your shark fin antenna. Liquid carbon is a beautiful color because right now this thing is dirty and it don't look that dirty because it, it hides the dirt pretty well. So you do have smart entry, so you just put your hand in there. It'll unlock the door for you. It'll open the mirrors as well. And that's also on the rear doors. Let me show you guys. Capless, capless fuel filler. You lock the MDX, it'll lock the door. So the espresso interior, this thing is beautiful. Look at the brown. Look at this brown. Now I know the lighting's not too, too crazy, but look at the brown. This thing is taking a look at the driver's seat. So it is a 16-way power adjustment seat. So you can really fold yourself into a pretzel if you wanted to. You have up, down, in, and out, four-way lumbar, all very customizable on a passenger seat. There's also power with lumbar and you can go up and down. So pretty configurable, way more than just a regular four-way power adjustment. And I didn't even just see the hidden uh, power outlet over here. That's cool. You can have that for the, for the passenger. So in the middle of the portion here and you know, got some soft touch here, soft touch on your armrest, really soft touch on the side. And I think the Advance is the only one that get this wood treatment right here, which is beautiful. And you get this little strip right here with your embedded um, ambient lighting in there three person, well, three position memory seats. And you do have your power folding mirror button here, power mirrors, locks, auto up down for front and back. And it's just beautiful in here. You have a little storage in here, put a little water bottle, 
trunk button right here and you can't forget about the metal uh, grill speaker because this is the e ELS Studio 3D sound system and I believe push button start so foot on brake you push the button get the uh, fan going in here on the left portion here you have your controls for your heads up display because heads up display is standard on the, the advanced you have a shortcut to your safety features you have your traction control on and off you have your parking sensors on and off and you have your dimmer switch for your, um, your like interior lighting so like your back lighting over here, I always forget what that's called. Electronic parking brake, and you do have your trunk button here that you hold to open and close. And speaking of the heads up display, you have it right there, and you can customize it to view different information, which is pretty cool. You can change the brightness, how high you want it. That's standard on the advanced. Coming along down here to the steering wheel, it's leather wrapped, and it's not too thick and not too uh, skinny. I believe if you go to a A-Spec uh, package, you get a flat bottom steering wheel, but it's smooth, still feel good to the hand. You have some controls over here as well. Heated steering wheel, which is standard on the advanced. You have a power button for your sources, which actually might come in handy. Um, you have your volume up and down. You do have your next track or previous track on the left side, voice command, back key, apps. You do have power shifters behind the steering wheel too, because it controls the 10 speed automatic transmission. And that's actually paired with a 3.5 V6, which makes about 290 horsepower. So just shy of 300, so plenty of power. And on the right side of the steering wheel, you have some of your safety features. And I believe this wheel controls the screen over here. So you do have your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, or your normal cruise control features here, cancel. And then you do have your um, cruise on and off here too, which is cool. And this guy just controls the screen over here. And I believe this is like a 12.3. When we look at the trim walk, I'll make sure I'm right. But this is like a full digital. And I believe the full digital is standard on all of the MDXs now. And this right wheel over here can control over here. So you have uh, settings. Let me zoom in this so you can show you guys. You have trip computer. You have your navigation, oil life, tire pressure, super handling all wheel drive. You even have a G meter in here, which is cool. That's cool to have. Um, you have your driver attention level, you're waking up to drive, blank, all your safety features. And then here you can check off your road departure. I'll turn on the blind spot. You have blind spot in there. Oh, I did not mean to turn that thing, <laughs> thing, that, turn that thing off. Um, you have your low speed braking control, collision mitigation. The clicks on this thing feels very high quality. You probably hear it as I'm going down. But um, you have your low speed braking control. You have your collision mitigation. And that's pretty much it. So we can go back and then you also have your gauge settings, trip computer and, and navigation. And with gauge settings, you can change the layout, which is pretty cool. So, OK, very similar. Uh, I'm pretty familiar to this, but easy to use. And I believe the left side over here just shows your tachometer and what get what uh, mode you're in. And right now we're in normal. And I believe if you change the modes, it will change that information over there. But we'll see that when we get to that point. Um, you do have auto headlights with auto high beams too. You have parking light, you're just on, and your fog light switch over here. On the right side, you do have your wipers. So you have off, you have rain sensing windshield wipers. So you have auto, low and high for the front wipers, and then you have off, intermediate, on for the rear wipers. And you also have a camera button on here because that's how you turn on the 360 camera. You will get to that in a second as well. And the steering wheel is power adjusted. So let me say get on there. You can see you can adjust the steering wheel with power. Coming along to the center screen here. So this is also a 12.3 inch uh, matching the same size as the driver's screen here. And a lot of people is complaining that this thing is not touchscreen. It's still not touchscreen for 24. You do have the trackpad here you have to use to use the screen. I have it in my RDX and I actually, I actually like it because it's easier to make choices while driving. You're less distracted, but um, I guess it would have been cool if it was touchscreen and you had the touchpad so you could choose the two. You do have the built-in navigation system, which is pretty cool, but you guys are probably gonna be using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, continue offline for right now. So easy to use. You have phone, you have satellite radio, FM, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It is wireless as well. You have cabin talk, so you can talk to the, to the third row using your voice. It'll kind of, it's like, a, like an intercom almost, it's pretty cool. Built-in Wi-Fi. Bluetooth, Alexa's built in. You have a social playlist where multiple smartphones can be connected to the MDX and everyone can, you know, share music, what plays next. You have AM radio, you have built in messaging, messages and accurate links. So 
pretty simple, easy to use. You do have a little helper screen over here too. So I was using the touchpad to go left and right. And then this is for the helper screen. So if you go up and down, you can swipe. So you have the time and navigation and what music you're listening to. Which on top of the grill here, it is gloss black and goes all along, all the way to the door handles. And you do have a digital screen here for your climate control. And you can see with the sun pouring in, it's um, bouncing off the glass, gloss black, but it's not distracting though. You can just see your reflection and everything in the gloss black. And you have these toggles, which is easy to use, which is pretty cool. And then will you turn red or blue based on what temperature you have set. You do have a tri-zone climate control. So driver, passenger, and your rear passengers can have three different temperatures, which is cool. You have on and off, auto, sync. If you turn off sync, then this person could catch on fire and then you stay cool over there. You have your different modes, fan speed, and you do have AC on and off. This is how you get to the rear settings to adjust the temperature back there from up front. You can lock the buttons back there, front defrost, heated side mirrors, um, heated back glass, air circulation, and you do have ventilated seats on the advance, and you also have heated seats, and you have auto, so it'll automatically sync up with your temperature to see how much heat or ventilating do you need on your seats, which is cool. Same thing for the passenger side. And you do have your auto stop off button here, brake hold assist over here too, and this is all gloss black. And then for your USB connections, you push that out, and then you have one USB-C and a USB-A, which is cool. You can hide it away. And you do have the controls here for the 10-speed transmission. So you have park, you hold for reverse, and you have the 360 camera right there. And you can change the different views. So you can have a top-down, no, actually wide view. You can have normal, and you can have your cross-traffic on and off, which is pretty cool, too. So that's the normal view, and then that's the wider view. They give you, like, a fisheye view. And you can see the 360 view over there. I'm going to put it back into park. And if you hit the camera button, you can access the 360 button where you can see the front of it too, which is pretty cool. And the top 360. And you can change it to see the side of the view, the, the wheels as well, the front wheels. So the standard on the advanced. And you do have a sport mode. You can put the transmission to a sport mode. It'll shift quicker, hold higher RPMs, give you a more spirited drive. And down here on the touchpad, this is what I've been using to control everything up here. So you can hit the home button and you can go through all your different menus. You have a back key. You have a little um, quickly switch up the helper screen key here and your touchpad for the helper key. Next track and previous is down here with a volume knob, easy to use. You have a storage right there. Cup holders here, huge wireless phone charging pad and a little armrest too. But yeah, because phones keep getting bigger, so if you buy one of these next few years, your phone should still fit, which is pretty cool. And then you have your armrest here, and it is a two-tier system, so you can have storage right there, or you can lift up the whole thing. And you have this huge cubby in there, a USB-A with a power outlet is uh, in there with a rubber tray at the bottom, which is pretty cool. And this thing, soft touch. You can see it on the passenger seat as well. And then you have a lockable glove box and it is lined. It's nice and smooth and it's big too. It's a nice touch. And then you can see you have another air vent over there. And you have the three position memory seats also on the passenger seat. So I'm used to Honda. So when you see me shocked when I see like a little bit nicer features, it's because, you know, we don't have that. So that's actually pretty cool. And you do have your um, auto dimming rear view mirror with home link built in which is pretty cool. And then you do have a panoramic moonroof on every MDX, that's standard. And I love how accurate this throws that in there. Goes all the way over to the second row. So your kids are gonna lose, lose their mind looking at the stars and everything. And this portion opens as well too, it's not just a glass. And then you have a sunglass holder. You have your Acura link button here, your, not, your emergency assist there, LED lighting all around. And here's your controls for the moonroof and the, the the shade for the panoramic roof and you also have your light here for if you want the lights to turn on when the door opens and you have your vanity mirror here with a uh light it's not led but you get a light i believe you get the same thing for the passenger side as well yep and you can see look, look at that even speakers in the door handle but we're gonna jump out the front seat and jump into the rear seats but yeah the espresso is beautiful i love the brown so you can see these seats is already down. Let me pull these back up. And what's cool on the MDX is that middle seat is removable. So you can turn this into a captain second row if you wanted to, which is cool. 
And you do have the sunshades built in on the door. You have that more of that wood finish on the rear doors as well. More of the ambient lighting back here too. Aluminum style uh, um, door handle. And then you have your one control for the window. Soft touch back here as well. Just a nice place to be. And it's easy access to get to the third row. It's folded down right now, but you have this button right here. You push it and it goes forward for you. It folds forward and moves forward, which is cool. And your third row seats too. But before we look at the third row, let's get back here in the second row. And this middle seat does come up to be a seat too. So it can be an armrest cup holder or you can have it as a middle seat. And you do have some speakers back here as well. Part of the ELS sound system. You do have heated back seats. So the outer seats are heated and it's three different positions. You can control their climate control back here. Or if your kiddos, you want them messing with all the controls, you can lock it from up front. I know the lighting's not ideal, but just go look at one of these. These, these things are really nice. You have two USB A's, you have a power outlet, and you have an AC 150 volt uh, household outlet too. You do have storage behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat. And the headrest, I forgot to mention, they're adjustable as well, which is pretty cool. We have the button right there for it. But yeah, if you're planning to get this for your kiddos, they're gonna be comfortable back here. Um, the seats is still premium, same piping as up front, and they're uh, perforated as well. And the Milano leather just feels very good. So we're gonna jump out and actually jump into the third row. And before we do that, more speakers and the door handles too, part of the ELS sound system. One of the best sound system I've ever heard, like ever. Oh, with the news hovering over. All right, so minus that helicopter that flew over. The best way to lift up the rear seats is from the back, but I'm actually gonna do it from here. All right, so seat is lifted up and the seat is scooted up, so it gives you some space to get back there. And it's not that hard, to be honest. All right, so sitting back here, um, the third row is not this spacious because if I, let's put this thing back. If I put this thing back, um, I think, I believe it's all the way back. My knees is like touching against here. But if you need to put someone back here, just like, I don't know, like for an emergency or the quick, you know, a little less than an hour trip or something like that, they will be fine. Or you put some kids back here, they will be good as well. But there are USB A's back here. One thing a lot of people don't like is the MDX doesn't have rear vents for the third row. And it is on the Pilot, but it's not on the MDX. But you really don't buy the MDX for the third row. I feel like you need a third row SUV, like uh, an emergency, but you really don't need these back here is why you get a, a third row SUV like this, especially a, a luxury sporty one. Save you some money from the German brands as well. Have the speakers back here as well. Got some tie downs. And then if I want to get out of here, the same button is on the shoulder. Push that and look at that. Let me out. So let's jump out of here and let's get into the cargo space. You do have the hands-free tailgate feature where you kick underneath the bumper and it opens for you and you can kick and it will close for you as well. And then looking at the third row, you see one is already down. You just pull the little handle. Headrest fold down. It will drop down for you. So plenty of room back here. You do have a little tie, I was about to say tie down, a little grocery hook back here. You have a power outlet back here. And which way does it go? Oh, this way. And you also have a walkway auto close feature too. So if you push it, then it'll, the trunk will stay open until you walk away. That's gonna come in handy when your hands are full of groceries or you're taking something heavy out of here and you, you can't like reach out for the, for the remote to close the button or you can't push the button up here, then you have that walk away auto feature and you do have an adjustable height um, feature as well too so you can adjust how high you want it to open. So carpet mats are standard on MDXs and you have additional storage in here and this uh, cover here is reversible so you have a hard side and then you have a carpet side and you can actually store it away. So for example, let me get this front license plate out of the way. You can kind of store it down there if you just want it out the way and you have your, your tools under here as well. And I'm not sure if this comes with a spare tire, and it does. I know nowadays, most cars don't come with spare tires anymore, but you do have a spare tire. It is, I believe it's a donut. I don't think a full size can't fit under there. But to show you how it works, you push it, it turns green, and it's gonna wait till you walk away. Then it'll close. 
It's pretty cool. Now that we kind of walked around a little bit, let's jump into the trim walk. Made it to the 2024 MDX model lineup. So here's all the, the trim levels, I guess I would say, or packages, that's what Acura call it, in the MDX. So you have the base MDX, you have the technology package, you have the A-spec package, you have the advanced package, which is the one we did, which is a fully loaded model. And then if you jump up to the more performance type S, there's two packages, type S and type S with advanced. So let's kind of take a look at the base to kind of show what's standard in MDX. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because I want to focus on the advanced for this video. And then we'll go through all the other packages once I get a hold of them. But every MDX comes standard with a 3.5 V6 uh, engine. NA, so no turbo. We need to type S, it's turbo. It made 290 horsepower, 267 foot pound of torque. You can get front wheel drive or a super handling all wheel drive. But front wheel drive, I believe, is only available on the base and tech. If you get an A spec or a um, advanced, then all, super handling all wheel drive is the only option. Um, all of them do come with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And like I said, you can pause the video, kind of go through the list. You can see what's standard on there. Not going to go through everything on there, but let's jump right to the advanced. So the advanced is a, I guess, a one up from the tech package. It's not from the A spec. The A spec is also a, a one up from the tech package. So you have the tech package and you either can go A spec or you can go advanced. So on the advanced, what it's going to give you that the tech package doesn't give you is standard all wheel drive. Like I said, LED fog lights, the tech package won't have no fog lights at all. Um, the auto dimming side mirrors, I didn't even mention in the video. So the side mirrors are auto dimming roof rails are standard on the advanced, the hands free uh, tailgate and walk with auto closes standard on the advanced, then the tech heated steering wheel. The uh, authentic open pore wood interior trim. So I mentioned in, in the video too that that little wood piece on the door, I believe it was standard on the, on the advanced and it is. And you get a 16 way power front seats. So like I said, you can fold yourself into a pretzel if you wanted to. That's a lot of, a lot of adjustments, which is cool. And it's so funny that I said, which is cool. So someone commented on one of my videos saying that I keep saying, which is cool. And I do do that when I'm doing a vehicle I'm not too familiar with. Like, as I'm thinking, I keep saying, which is cool. So I'm going to work on that. So I appreciate you guys for giving me some feedback. Um, the heated and ventilated front seats is only on the advanced. And the heated second row is only on the advanced. And pretty familiar because if you get an elite pilot, which is the highest pilot, you only get ventilated seats on the elite. Or you only get heated second row on the elite. So... I see some similarities here from the, the, the trim levels of the Pilot versus the packages and the MDX. You get the perforated Milano premium leather seating, and they're really nice. Uh, contrast stitching and piping. The built-in remote start on the key fob. That's standard on the Advance. And third row used to be ports back there. Okay, so you only get that in Advance, looks like. Second row, AC power outlet. You get the cabin talk. You get the heads up display, you get the surround view camera system. I said 360, but Acura calls it surround view 360. Same thing. Um, the ELS studio 3d premium audio sound system with 16 speakers. It's, I believe that is on the a spec too, but it's just not on the tech package and a heads up warning added to collision mitigation braking system. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know about that. So let's jump into building an MDX. And here, it's a little bit different with the setup. You have to choose if you want front wheel drive or all wheel drive. Like I said, if you choose front wheel drive, you only can get it on the base and the tech. And then super handling, you can get it on all the trims pretty much. So we're gonna do the all wheel drive and we're gonna jump into the advanced and here are all the colors. So you have Phantom Blue Pearl, which only comes with the Greystone interior, no premium charge. You have Lunar Silver Metallic, which comes with Ebony, and Greystone, no premium charge. Any other color look like you have to pay $600 more. So you have Majestic Black with the Ebony, the Parchment, or Espresso. Love the Espresso interior. I love the brown interior in the Pilot. So of course I'm gonna love the Espresso and the MDX. Um, you have the Liquid Carbon Metallic, which me and Shelly's RDX is in the same color. 
and which is the one we just did just now. And we did it with the espresso. So I'm going to choose that. But you can get performance red with only with the parchment. And then you have white with parchment. You have platinum white pearl with ebony parchment or espresso. And fan phantom violet pearl. I, have no, I didn't even know this color existed. I like this. This is fire. Only problem is it only comes in ebony. But I'm pretty sure this is a color that Acura probably barely even make. I've never even seen this color before. I didn't even know this, this was available. But well, we're going to jump on the liquid cur liquid curl. Liquid carbon metallic. And, <laughs> and click on espresso. And go to interior. So this is what we looked at today. One thing I did forget to mention in the interior is... Um, oh, for the blind spot monitoring, that's standard on the advanced, and it's not on the side mirror, it's on the inside right here. And I forgot to show you guys the dynamic mode. So when you turn this wheel right here, you can switch from sport to normal, and uh, it's fine. When we do another MDX, I'll make sure I show that to you guys. Because like I said, this is my first MDX on the channel, and uh, I've never really sat in one and kind of, you know, fill it out. As I'm recording, I'm figuring things out, so I know I miss a lot. Drop a comment below. Let me know what I miss. But um, those two I did notice when I was editing, I didn't see it. And then I know the lighting was all crazy for the interior. But I'm gonna jump straight to the to the summary, so I give you guys a price. So the base price is so oh so starting MSRP is sixty three five hundred plus the liquid the liquid I keep saying liquid curl. I don't know why I keep saying that. Liquid carbon metallic six hundred dollars. And destination handling is eleven ninety five. You're looking at sixty five two ninety five for a fully loaded MDX Advanced. And I'm not counting the Type S because technically the Type S is the highest trim level, but minus the performance MDX, just the regular ones, this is the highest trim level you can go. As far as accessories, I'm pretty sure these are all what I I, I think it is. Oh, you got some wheel options though. So there's some twenties there. Oh, these are fire. What does this look like? Oh, it's the same wheel, but blacked out. I actually like how that looks. I like how that looks. Um, I'm not a big fan of those, but the, the same wheel, but it's blacked out. Let me see. Remove it. Look at that. Yeah, that looks nice. And you can get valve stamp. Ooh, I should get that for RDX. I like that. Wheel lugs. You can get blacked out emblems. A lower bumper front. Is What the? Oh. It's with the front and back. Okay, so you get a, oh, you actually get a lip in the front, but then you get this little canard thing in the back. It should have gave you a lip in the rear. Interesting. So get chrome. You get the logo on the, that should have been standard. Welcome light. You get your roof attachments. Running board. Oh, you can add some running boards on there. Trailer hitch. So, yeah, this is, you know, what I expected that you can add as an accessory. So. Premium carpet, nothing too crazy. Sports steering wheel with heating function. Okay. So I haven't really paid attention to an A-Spec. So I don't know if this is just an A-Spec steering wheel with heated. Not too sure. But the advanced come with heated steering wheel already. I guess if you want the flat bottom, you can get this. But kind of don't make sense to me if you already, you know, you already got the heated steering wheel standard. I appreciate you guys if you watched the whole thing, made it as far. Everyone that comment, like the videos, definitely appreciate you. Like I said earlier, if there's, I'm not missing something. So if I miss any features, I didn't mention anything that you know, maybe you own one, um, definitely drop a comment, let me know. Um, in my opinion, I think that this is just, you know, if you're looking for something sporty and luxurious, the MDX is the way to go. If you think the pilot is too plain, you know, it's not aggressive enough then you got this guy but just know that the third row in this is definitely tighter than a third row in the pilot but to be honest i know most buyers that buy this is not really buying it for the third row like it's a more it's more of an emergency row for you but you may have it folded down most of the time the rdx is just too small you want you want a v6 you want more power you want to be able to tow this is the way to go and usually um i think most SUVs in this class that's sporty, luxurious. They don't care about cargo space and third row and stuff like that. That's not what you spend all this money for. But um, yeah, I'm end everything here. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next walk around.